cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Choppers to throw away. Hustle the overweight. That's why they follow me, huh? They think I know the way. Yeah, yeah. Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Hustle and Motivate the Podcast. This is the podcast where we motivate you all while keeping the hustle alive. I'm your lovely hostess with the most. It's Adios, the soul star. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got some we... more hosts. Uh, at I mean, some point, quick, they going to introduce go. themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. No, no, no. Hold on. You know, this is this is I love this. This is this, it's a podcast. <laughs> we, 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 we so, so we're gonna. Oh, and I said I'm gonna say that well, now. I'm gonna say something to you now because we just sat right off the air not two <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> we did. <laughs> well, I was saying you, the me, then you. Yeah, he said we're gonna go oh, in shit. order of the view. Whoever <laughs> is next to Adas in the oh, view will be next. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was so quiet. <laughs> That's what I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't want to say nothing. I promise. You know, I'm a service. Man, you I call forgot. it dead air. Okay. Dead, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and you see, I'm looking like okay. I know we just talked about this. I, I know. Well, I know. Yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah. it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, introduce yourself, T Stunt. Yeah, you already know what time it is. It's your homeboy, the homie T Stunt. What's happening? <laughs> Oh man, Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right, this is your main man, Mr. Quickness, DJ Mr. Quickness in the building. Man, man, man. Y'all, that right there. <laughs> what a way to start the podcast tonight, y'all. Man. I mean, today. Man. today what? Whatever, whatever time you're listening to, you know. What a, <laughs> what a uh, way greetings. to begin. What a, what a way. Okay, what a y'all. Way. So I'm Welcome trying to back. keep my composure. <laughs> Me too. That was great. That was that was great. I'm trying to keep my composure because it's like he didn't hear that part at all. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, I swear we just talked about it. We, yeah, like, we not did. Too like, it just <laughs> it went right over the yeah. Man, so. <laughs> okay, y'all. Who I'm trying to be professional. Oh. Okay, so keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to start over? Yeah, keep in mind, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. <laughs> you want to start over? Y'all want to start? No, we ain't got to start. We... Now you didn't say it, so we make people that we going to start. We, we, we recording, so let's, now, let's just go with it. It's, okay, it's I'm just, because I can't stop laughing. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, Get it together. Get it together. Take two. <laughs> okay, wait, take three. Uh, keep it <laughs> quick. Can you do it? <laughs> All right, so greetings and welcome back to the Hustle and Motivated Podcast. Uh, Ados is our star, the soul star. She is our host. And T Stunt and DJ Mr. Quickness, we just uh, amongst in the background, just doing what we do. Uh, so our goal is to motivate the whole time and uh, keep you in mind. So uh, watch us on YouTube at Creative Mind Society. If you have not already, like, subscribe, and do all that stuff that, you know, you know, it helps the algorithm for us, you know what I'm saying? Today's mm-hmm. topic is celebrating your wins. So without further ado, let's talk about the rundown, and I'm going to give it to you. All right, yes. so uh, today we'll be discussing the topic, celebrate your wins. All right? Uh, celebrate your wins. We we all mm-hmm. should be celebrating our wins. That's uh, right. Adios is going to bring us. She's, we talked about this a little earlier. She's going to uh, reiterate some stuff that we talked about, and we're going to come back and have that later on in the show. But first... We're going to have the headline report with Teach Dunst, and then I'm going to bring you a little bit of hip-hop history. You know, that's what I do, because I'm just, you see, I, just, I got a little wisdom. I've been to hip-hop games since <laughs> pop started. Not when it started. But. Okay, anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, Teach Dunst, Teach Dunst, Teach Dunst. <laughs> what's happening, what's happening? So, hey, y'all already know what time it is. It's the hot topics, uh, my hot topics I pick. Uh, so, coming in at number one, uh, we have uh, a Maryland cop suspended after viral video of him kissing and entering squad car with an unknown woman, aka his mistress. Um, so mm, mm, mm. yeah, so I finally was, saw it. Oh, you finally saw it? Okay, I okay. saw I saw one video. You know, yeah, saying, buddy, it, so. yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, yeah. So so he's a Prince George County police officer. Uh, I think like, somewhere out there in Georgia, somewhere. 
Uh, it's Maryland, right? Oh, Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. My bad. I said Georgia, even though it says Maryland. Maryland. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you did but, that earlier too. <laughs> I did too. I did. I did. But yeah, so Buddy was out there just um willy nilly, just you know, hugging and kissing all up under this woman. And um uh, Pedro and there was outside chilling in the apartments, and they caught him doing the whole act. Now you see him kissing all on her, walking, they walking towards the back of the squad car. And she gets in and he gets in and hey, you know, let your imagination roam from there. Um, the wife of the officer did she did speak out. Um, it wasn't too bad. She was like, My husband used her for sex by uh because she was easy. Uh, I never put our marriage out there because our marriages hit a rough patch. We will get through uh this at the end of the day. That's what she said. Uh, so I, I guess you know. Meaning she not going nowhere. Who is she? she ain't going nowhere. Ain't she going understands. Nowhere. She who know is? how he gets down. It mm-hmm. just they got to they, they got understand. Under, there you go. They right, have right, an understanding. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yes, understanding. Uh, I obviously the officer didn't know he was gonna get caught up, aka be sloppy with it. Cause he was very sloppy with that it. Was like, very sloppy. Just take it to a hotel. You got motel to... holiday something. In. But why you like the squad car outside? Like, come on now. Like that's, that's rough. That's rough. That's, rough. <laughs> that's very okay. rough. That's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yikes. All right. And so coming in at number two, uh, prime time. Deion Sanders sells um, beats Nebraska, thirty six to fourteen. Y'all, all right. On Left the debut, on yeah, uh, for for the debut home game, and they sold out as well. I guess they really haven't been sure. selling out like that. And Dion brought them some money this weekend. They knew mm. that. They knew exactly. Dion was gonna bring them out, bring them out, that's, bring them out. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. what that's 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 what part of bringing him there is about too. Exactly. On top exactly. of money, oh, money, and sure. because NFL games, if you win, then uh, 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 sponsors and people who donate more, you know, all that, all that. Thing. Right, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the, the official but wise official this official that. Yeah, you know how it go. Um. So yeah, it was a good game. Uh, they also beat uh TCU the week prior to that. So hey, he got two wins up on his belt. And I mean, in TCU, if you know TCU, that is not a small school to beat at yeah. all by any means necessary. So. Shouts out to uh, Primetime Deion Sanders. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. So, topic okay. number three. Uh, we have here French Montana partners with Gamma and others to donate 500 canoes to Mako Mako uh, community Makoko. in Makoko. My bad. I said Mako Mako. Makoko <laughs> community in Nigeria. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. big shout outs to, um, to him for doing that. Uh, I do believe yeah. he is. Uh, uh, he's Moroccan. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. he's from Morocco, so he's from Morocco, yep. and that is off the coast of Africa. For those of y'all that don't know your uh, geography, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. That's, Thank that's, you, When did you find that? Uh, I've been knowing about that a little bit, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I've been knowing We're about that. We're gonna be messy. <laughs> <laughs> you find out. Well, you. <laughs> But I'm yeah, man. But big you. ups to uh, French Montana, <laughs> you know, for for doing such a great thing for the country over there. Oh, Keep doing what yeah, you're doing, my guy. Big ups you to know, him, man. That is definitely a win for real, for real. I actually most, except for the top story, the last two are wins. The other yeah, one, so, it, it just so, you know, it just yeah, is that what first it is. One was a, was definitely an L. That was an L. L. That was an L. That was an L, buddy. And they were speaking in all types of Spanish about buddy and old girl. I was like, oh, gee. Yeah. I, I wish I had a translator for what they were saying. Because, boy. Like, like of all the things to do outside, your affair? Your affair. I mean, it could you know, be the last thing. Was wide, like, wide open with it, it seemed like to me. I was like, right. Hey, it's, it's right in the middle of the park. You ain't even behind, up under no trees or nothing. Nothing. Nothing, not behind a building, not do an alleyway, <laughs> duck off. Bro, you you right smack outside. dab in the middle of the Come apartments on, outside. <laughs> like, you didn't think nobody was going to notice a police car kissing? Uh, you right. didn't think nobody... Come on now. A police officer just out there kissing out there. The phone a woman. Like, right. You know, I mean, and, 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 and the thing is, dude, he's Come a on. big, tall, white guy, and that's a small they little black like woman. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. you don't think nobody going to notice something that's a little off here? Yeah, you ain't just got a no little, of, something, no, just, a little of rise. Something, right, right. I, I guess he used some handcuffs for other things, if you know what I mean. 
But mm-hmm. but yeah, this is your hip hop topic with T Stunts. Thank man. you so much, T Stunts. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate oh, yeah, you. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep going. All right, going. well, uh, <laughs> but I got a little hip hop history for you guys. Uh, that's yeah. my segment, and uh, I like to bring it to you before we get into some motivation. Uh, just to it's uh, by the way, we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop, you know. So, uh, whoa, whoa. shout out to that first of all. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. uh, so, uh, without further ado, uh, your hip hop history moment, uh, naughty by nature. First thing off, first, I'm gonna go back, you know, this this week. Let me just say it's kind of this week, but I will get to today's big uh, announcement. Uh, but this week in hip hop, so to speak, uh, September 3rd, 1991, Naughty by Nature released his second album, Naughty by Nature. I'm gonna say that second album, uh, September 3rd, 1991, through Tommy Boy Records. The album was recorded through November 1990 to August 1991, took almost a year to record this album, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was a critical and commercial success, having been certified platinum on February 6, 1992, thanks in large to the part hit single OPP. Everybody know OPP. Y'all know OPP. Now you know me. You know. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, oh, so, yeah. uh, which reached number six on the Hot Billboard 100 in 1991, by the way. Okay. So, shout out to, right. shout out to Naughty by Nature uh, for uh, their contribution to hip hop. Uh, Tretch and Tupac for those that don't know were really big close. Uh, yeah, artists. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were well, big now OPP, I know yeah, that right. song. All right, so uh, next in uh, hip hop history. So on September eighth, two thousand and nine, Jay Z, Jay Z, released his eleventh studio album, The <laughs> Blueprint Three. <laughs> Mulligan. Uh, the Blueprint Three is the eleventh studio album by American rapper Jay Z, released September eighth, two thousand nine, on the Rock Nation and distributed through Asylum Records, Atlantic Records. See all those chains? I just wanted to throw that out there so people are always thinking that. Anyway. It's the third album in the Blueprint series, preceded by Blueprint 2001, The Blueprint 2, The Gift and the Curse 2002. Uh, Production of the album took place between 2008 and 2009 and several other studios handled by Kanye, No ID, The Neptunes, uh, Al Shakur, uh, Jerome J-Rock Harmon, The Incredible Swiss Beats, and Timbaland, by the way. The album also featured guest appearances by Kanye, Rihanna, Drake, Kid Cudi, uh, Jeezy, J. Cole, and Alicia Keys. Uh, all-star lineup. All-star yeah. lineup. You know what I'm saying? The <laughs> Blueprint 3. Uh, wow, it pre- also produced six singles. All right. EOA, Death of Out of Tunes. Oh, Everybody knows man, it. that one was yeah. so Ooh, popular. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right when, you know, yeah. Poe T-Pain. pain Poe T-Pain. Right. And uh, Run This Town with Rihanna, Empire State of Mind with Alicia Keys. Uh, Forever Young and A Star Is Born. Uh, uh, it was a big album for Jay Z. Yeah, you know, it was um, huge. Oh, yeah, I still oh, yeah. listen to and, all uh, those songs. Today. It became Jay Z's eleventh <laughs> number one album, breaking the record he had previously shared with Elvis Presley. By the way, oh snap! Mm, okay, it was well, Elvis' best rap Elvis. album while four of his singles, "DOA," "Run This Town," and one of the next, uh, and "Empire State of Mind," won combined number of six Grammys at the fifty-two annual. Grammy Awards, y'all. Yeah, hey, yeah. we talked about this cover earlier. I, I did. I, I want to delve into that, by the way. Uh, so the cover, it consists of a large number of all white instruments. This is the blueprint that had all the white instruments and recording tools stacked in a corner with three red lines across the image. Rather than simply using Photoshop, the album was designed. The album's design team carefully stacked all the instruments in a corner, then used a projector to create the bars. They then painted red onto the equipment where the projector had the bars was. Then placed the projector with a camera to achieve the correct perspective of the image. Blueprint 3 would be Jay-Z's first album cover that did not feature his face on it. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I I okay. Yeah, I remember it now. I yeah. remember that one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So, I mean, I thought all that was, I thought all that literally was Photoshop to, to like, Till I was today when I learned that. I'm gonna about to work. Yeah, okay. that that is a very interesting fact. Fact to it, I right. didn't know either. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was Photoshop too. Right. Because if if you look at the cover, so I, you know, if you haven't, go back and look at the cover. Uh, shout out Jay Z man and the Blueprint whole. Uh, I mean, just shout out to Jay Z man. Big big shots, big shots. Yeah. Uh, shout before out to I get in this one, yeah, for sure. Uh, another one. Uh, Easy E man, happy birthday, happy heavenly birthday to the dog Easy E man. Uh. Wow, I mean, 
Yes. Man, just, I, you know, we changed the game. Happy birthday. Biggest, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure that we give a shout out. Uh, September 7, 1964. A uh, professionally known as Easy E, the American rapper, uh, prepared West Coast rap and gangster rap by leading the group NWA and its label, Rootless Records. He was also referred to as the godfather of gangster rap, which is pretty much, I, th- I think, no one no one contests that. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Uh, born and raised in Compton, California, uh, Easy E uh, had several troubles before founding Rootless Records in 1987. Wow. Hey, I remember them coming to like the skating ring. I wasn't even a twinkle. I wasn't even a twinkle. What the like I remember when Dr. Dre, yeah, when he went before he got with when he was coming down here and got DOC. Like I remember like them coming to the skating rings and easy, you know, yeah, when like like the movie when you see them, yeah, going to the skating rings like big. Mm. Yeah, I remember I've been to shows that I've been to that show that you saw in the movie straight out of Compton. I've been to that show. Yeah. Like Wow, this was yeah. And I was like, wow, that's the same way they came down to Dallas and did their thing. And it's 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 always been huge and easy, man. Uh, uh, shout out to him and uh, Ruthless Rex for their contribution to hip hop as well. I just want to make sure I uh, pointed that out for this week, you know, hip hop history. But another big birthday and uh, probably the biggest because it is his birthday today, September tenth. Uh, none other than the Big Daddy Kane, y'all. Uh, hey. I, we asked this earlier. I asked, did we know who Big Daddy Kane was? Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, he's an American rapper, as everybody knows, produced and an actor who began his career in 1986 as a member of the Juice Crew. He is also widely regarded as one of the most influential and skilled MCs in hip hop. Rolling Stones ranked his song Ain't No Half Step and number 25 on this list of the 50 greatest hip hop songs of all time calling him a mastermind wordsmith of rap's latest golden age and huge influence on a generation of MC. That's why I meant earlier, like smooth operators, like his flow was just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Was like ridiculous. I mean, he, he smooth, like I said, he had the dancers back in the day. I mean, it, it just, it just, I mean, again, big up to Big Daddy, man, and what, he is, what he's done to the game. Happy birthday, King. Happy Already birthday. happy birthday. Oh yeah, I seen uh Big Daddy Kane. I think it was on a versus or something like that not too long ago. And he he did uh Oh word. I didn't know. It was something he was on TV like not too long ago and he I think he did that song and like but it was but he still got it. Moved out Buddy ready, still yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, Cuz it's not yeah. a it's not like a slow rapping song. Uh-uh. It's it's kind mm-hmm. of it's kind of quick and and, and yeah. but it was still he he, he still got the chops. Man, man, man. Well, I appreciate y'all, man, uh, as well. This has been my moment in hip-hop history. I hope you enjoyed Y'all stick around. Every week, I'm going to bring you just a little tad bit of hip-hop history, and we are still celebrating 50 years of hip-hop this year. So uh, make sure you uh, pick up something and uh, learn something about hip-hop this year. That's right. All right, quick. Learn we you appreciate something. that. Learn you something. Every week, y'all know how we doing it. So now it's time for our topic of the day. And so... Our topic for today and for the week is to celebrate your wins. It's so important to celebrate your wins. And what we mean by this is no matter what it is, how big or small, anything that you have going on in your life that you're proud of, that's a win. So celebrate those every day. So what I was saying earlier when we had this conversation is that I have been, you know, listening to a lot of motivational speeches lately um i listen to um i actually follow a lot of positive and motivational pages on social media and here lately i have been seeing a lot of people and hearing a lot of people talk about celebrating your wins and so i wanted to talk to the group the panel about celebrating our wins because it's something that we just don't do enough of and since this is hustle and motivate the podcast we want to motivate you to celebrate your wins. It's something that we all need to be reminded of every now and then because we just don't do it enough. Um, I was also talking about how we as artists are so hard on ourselves. We are our worst critics. I think people in general, we're our worst critics. But when you're an artist, we're sensitive about our shit, right? So uh, we even more so critical, I think. (laughs) So being being that that is typically the case, I want you to step back, take a breath, breathe, and f- 
focus on the things that you have accomplished. Um, for example, if you're an artist and you actually made it to the studio, you recorded a song or a project, if you've done a video or two um, to those songs, uh, that those are wins. You may not have like the most followers, the most listeners or anything like that, but you have a start. And so you want to celebrate your wins. And one of the ways to celebrate those type of wins is to promote your music, is to promote your videos. Um, you can't get tired of doing that because nobody else is going to do it for you. You pretty much, if you're an artist in, in this industry, you really have to push yourself. You, you're going to have to invest in yourself, whether it's time or money. Those are the two most important investments into your career that you can give. So since you spent your time and your money making the songs, uh, creating the videos, you may as well take some more time and some money to promote that music. Um, so just want right. you guys to be reminded to celebrate your wins, no matter how big or small. Man, I definitely agree. Back, I mean, we talked about this earlier. I, I I mean, you know, small victories. That's 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 what we have to. Uh, it's, it, that's hard to focus on, but it's the reality that you know lets you know that I'm doing something right. You know, sometimes it's hard to see. You know, when you're doing something right, when you when you're going in the right path, when you know those they're just small victories. You're like you expect the you know you know the atomic bomb to blow up when every time you do something. It's not always the case. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially you if you put the... a lot of effort into it, you know. Right. You pro you feel like okay, mm -hmm. it needs to be this level of a win. So yeah, I right. feel what you're saying. Sometimes it may not be that ginormous level of a win, but it's a win nonetheless. All right, a win's a win. There you go. And, and definitely for me, you know, the the I I tell people uh, embrace the failures because mm -hmm. uh, to go through like you said, putting a lot of time and effort in a lot of stuff, and then to uh, fail at the end should be a win because now you know what well, this way doesn't work. That doesn't mean that you fail. You're like, okay, now I've learned something. I've learned that that was not the approach to take. Well, I need to go back and think. And, and probably when something doesn't go right, you probably had a, you know, something in the back of your mind and saying that eh, I didn't have everything. If you look back, and I probably didn't do everything that I probably could have done. And those are those, the wins that you should take. I always tell people out at, at in any event, I don't care what you do, because you know we do events. You know, part of part of that is understanding that not every event is going to be a success. You know, with the karaoke thing we're doing, not every event is going to be a success. Uh, but the the two or three people that are there that come out for us that one week, we, we you know we 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 have it for those wins. You know, and, right. and, and you have to celebrate those because uh they they don't they don't last always. That's let me right. say that. Yeah, Stay I uh, I agree a thousand percent with that, and that was a great. Um, opportunity and, and uh, I think this is a great opportunity to talk about that as well because you know we haven't talked about the karaoke night that we got to do over the summer and that was about what nine weeks um, yeah. I believe yeah, it was nine ten weeks yeah. and mm -hmm. honestly I'm grateful I'm so grateful for that opportunity because like you said quick you got you know you got to celebrate the small wins and the wins that we had was yeah those those weeks that you know we had some light weeks but we also had a couple of weeks that was pretty full and right, right. um and then we had people that came back and you know uh you told me that day they were asking about me and i was like what so that's something yeah. that i had never yeah. experienced and so that's a win um so and and i was very grateful for that and i'm still grateful for that grateful for the people who came out um, who I am still connected with on via well, social yeah, media. social media. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, it, it increased the, you know, the traffic, and I mean, I'm all of it, all of it again, you know, but that's the importance of understanding that uh, it may not always go how you think it's gonna go, but you know what they said, a silver lining. Look for the silver lining in it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, trying yeah, to figure out, you yeah. know, uh, you know, how, how how was it a success? You know, I'm not always, you know, I, I'm always looking for the bad, you know, in the beginning. But mm -hmm. in the end, I'm always looking for the success. Once it's over, once I come out of battle, mm -hmm. because I probably mm -hmm. beat myself up going into battle, once I come out of battle, whether I'm victorious or not, I'm, I'm able to understand, okay, now I see where I went wrong. You know, I mm -hmm. probably could have stepped back and probably shoot. I, when I wasn't ready, I probably put myself and my team out there when we were really weren't ready to get out there. And that's, that's you know, even knowing that is just a win. You know what I mean? To, to understand your place. And, you know, and it's hard. 
in anything. Business is hard. I tell people all the time. Just remember, we talking about doing Uber. Man, get out and get, get myself up when I ain't got to. Ain't nobody mm-hmm. gonna tell me you late, man. Where you at? Right, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you gotta have that discipline. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And getting up in those days and those the days that I do it victoriously, you know, you know, for the week that I said I'm gonna tackle it like I said I was, and I count those wins. Like I did, I did that today. Yeah, you did that today. And tomorrow I may not even do it. I'll be like, dang. <laughs> but, yep. yeah, but that yeah, but win for the day, should, yeah, should help yeah. you get you to the next day. <clears throat> yeah, knowing that I, knowing I can yeah. do it, knowing that you can right. do it. That's right. what you, that's what, that's what those, that's what celebrating those smiles, knowing or remembering that you can do it and that mm-hmm. they're not all going to be wins, period. Yeah. And yeah. remind yourself, and, and but also remind yourself of what you're, it reminds you of what you're capable of. You know, like you said, yes, you know that you can do it. And, and yeah, that's it. It reminds you of what you're capable of. So definitely remind yourself of your wins, guys. Um, you know, celebrate your wins as often as you can. What is it that you've accomplished that, you know, you feel like, hey, I think I should celebrate that. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll watch a, you know, watch some TV or I'll have a snack or I'll go and get some ice cream. I'll do something to celebrate my win. You know, go for a walk. Do something for yourself. In celebrating yourself. So that's my two cents. Does anyone else have anything else to say before we close out? No, that's it. That's it. That's that's it. That's well, I really enjoyed this show, guys. Um, y'all join us next week. Um, not exactly sure what the topic's gonna be, but it's gonna be a very motivational, to- inspirational topic. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm yes, Ados yes. the Soul Star. Follow me anywhere and everywhere at Ados the Soul Star. And you can also follow this show at HNM the podcast, okay, on Instagram and Facebook. I am T Stunts. Uh, you can follow me on IG at T Stunt eight one seven and T Stunt eight one seven on TikTok and mostly everything else out there in the world. Are you on TikTok? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm behind. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, on I'm on TikTok doing too. doing a little bit of numbers, a little okay. bit of numbers. Not not. Yeah. All right. Well, I ain't on TikTok, but you can't follow me at Tight Eye <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, pretty much that's where I'm at doing my thing. Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I ain't on Snapchat. I ain't on Tik. I, I I did finally go and sign up for TikTok. I don't know if I, I I'm not on there. But I come on, definitely. come come over to the talk, right. sir. Tight Eye Boss is where I be anyway. Is where I be. Is where I be. I appreciate y'all. Next week. That's right. Also, yeah, I'm on TikTok as well, y'all. So at Eight Hours of Soul Star, like I said, everywhere, because I'm also on TikTok and YouTube. Follow me on YouTube at Eight Hours of Soul Star, and T Stun is on YouTube as well. It's T Stun, yeah, just regular T Stun. Right, and if you want to see this show on YouTube, it's at Creative Mind Society. So we thank you guys so much, and yes. until next time, y'all be blessed and stay motivated. We back. Hey. Peace. You, baby, I'm prepared to show it, but you already know that I'm never scared to show it. And since you really love me, baby, you should really show it. But you should let me know, and I like it when you show it. Pledge of leads never lie, never let a business hang out to dry. Death to step and woman fly, you my rock. I, I, never jam like. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Choppers are throw away. Hustle the overweight. That's why they follow me, huh? They think I know the way.